And zero. Well, a three-year-old colt has the whole field are three years of age. This uh, colt by No Nukes from the first crop of the great speed horse No Nukes. And from the Canadian bred mare, J.R. Amy by Blaze Pick. Blaze Pick uh, was the first horse to pace a two-minute mile over Mohawk Raceway. Owned now by Joe McCluskey, who bought him as a yearling from Battle Creek, Michigan. And the Kentuckiana Farms bought a one-quarter interest in the horse based on a total value of $12 million this winter. Kentuckiana Farms owned by Tom and Betty Crouch of uh, Lexington, Kentucky. Mark O'Mara, the trainer driver, he has won 15 of 15 as a two-year-old, six of seven so far this year. Jate Lobel, obviously, uh, and all we've seen this week is we've had a few chances to look at him from the elimination on through to today. Mark O'Mara says it's a horse that thrives on work, and he worked him steadily throughout the week. And they just mentioned briefly there, Steve, that uh, the horse leading the post parade is staff director who won the North America Cup two years ago. Here's the number two horse, Frugal Gourmet, a French chef colt owned by the excellent stable of Toronto. Uh, has light on earnings compared to Jade Lobel. He's won 33000 this year. He's from a bye-bye bird mare, as was Amity Sheff, the horse who was a very close second last year in the North America Cup. Blair Bird just trains Frugal Gourmet. He trained Amity Sheff. Trevor Ritchie drives him. He drove the horse that beat Amity Sheff. Quite a sensation. Frugal Gourmet is probably going to be uh, one of the longer odds on the board tonight. Uh, I don't know that... Uh, He's going to be given much of a chance by the betters at any rate. There's the three horse. Yes, Frugal Gourmet is 25 to 1 currently. Here's the horse that we feel will take a shot at uh, Jade Lobel. Rare review at John Quill Hanover Colt from Goldie Omaha, who is a crack stakes filly in Ontario by Armour Omaha. Bred and owned by the Poinsettia Stables of Park Hill. Stu Ferlot trains, Doug Brown drives. Rare Review, of course, established himself a track and personal record just recently here, as we mentioned earlier in the show. This is the Windy City winner, of Bomb Rickles, and no nukes like Jade Lobel, and owned by the Hay Fever Farm of Clifton Park and Animal Acres of New York, New York. And Neil Shapiro, who was formerly uh, captain of the U.S. equestrian team, is his trainer driver. He's won in 156 and 2 on Maywood's half mile track, so he won't mind the sharp turns here at Greenwood. And he has 126,000 in the bank so far in 87. Now, if namesakes mean anything, this is a horse that I've got to like. Stage door Stevie by Merger. And, of course, Merger was a Canadian-owned horse who won the Little Brown Jug. And from a mare who won $200,000 20 years ago, and this is the first good horse she's produced, owned by Dr. George D. Halpin of Pompano Beach, Florida. George Hale trains, and Buddy Gilmore will be driving tonight. And now the six horse, D.T. Slipper. D.T. Slipper, a real outsider, a general star colt from Mamie's Nader by Armbro Nader owned by Isabel Vartanian of Stony Creek and Bob Kennedy of Cookstown. Mr. Kennedy, formerly an electrical contractor in the Toronto area. Jim Whelan trains and drives. The seven horse in this evening's North America Cup set the trap. Set the trap, the, the uh, great set the style colt from Ohio who won there last year in 155 and two fifths as a two year old at Scioto Downs, owned by John Quaglata of Kirkland, Ohio, and Frank Regal Buto of Pepper Pike, Ohio. Greg, that's Gary Martin, the trainer. Don O'Dwyer will drive Set the Trap. Scoring eighth in the North America Cup will be another of the Canadian entries, Perfect Morning. Well, I felt Perfect Morning had a shot in this race, and I still hope he gets money, but from the outside eight post, he's got his work cut out for him. Owned by Lloyd Smith of Don Mills and Clive Raymond of Toronto. Peter Smith, the Lloyd Smith's son, is the trainer. Steve Condren, his driver. He has a difficult post, but this is a very tough, strong, big colt. And coming out of the back row will be maybe the most interesting horse in the race, Log, who ran a ton last week. Well, he did run a, a race, a big race, and he's behaving better tonight. Last week, he pulled a 180 right in the post parade. He's a gray colt by Abercrombie, and uh, Abercrombie won the forerunner of, uh, of the North America Cup, the uh, Queen City Stakes, the year it was raced at Mohawk Raceway during Grand Circuit event. And Albert Adams of Nicholasville, Kentucky, who is the main man at Almahurst Farm, bred the colt. He has partners now, Earl and Geraldine Lavinia, Richard Farrington Trains, and Bill Magic O'Donnell. Okay, Earl driver. and Steve, Jake LaBelle remains at 1-5. to five. We're ready to go. The gate swings into the back stretch for the fifth race. The North America Cup, $1 million on the line. And there they go. They're off then, pacing Jake Lobel, drives out at the rail. 
in between horses they move around the far turn that's bomb rickles and from the extreme outside three wide stage door stevie going with them now those three as they move around the far turn and jake lobel wants the lead stage door stevie up on the outside is second bomb rickles is third frugal gourmet found a spot at the rail early is situated fourth as they move over towards the quarter mile station rare review is fifth and jake lobel takes him past the first quarter 27 and three stage door stevie on the outside second at the rail in third as they move in front of the grandstand that's frugal gourmet rare review is fourth log is on the move in fifth Bomb Rickles racing in sixth, set the trap is seventh, racing in eighth is the DT Slipper, and Perfect Morning is ninth around the turn. Jade Lobel, a length and a half in front of Frugal Gourmet, now regains second. Stage door Stevie, the outside is racing in third, rare review is fourth, a half in 55 seconds flat. Log is racing fifth after the rail, then in sixth, the move down the back stretch, that's Bomb Rickles, racing seventh on the outside, set the trap, DT Slipper is eighth in Perfect Morning. Jade Lobel, two lengths in front, Frugal Gourmet second. Rare review, now third in the outside. Racing in fourth is stage door Stevie, Log is fifth, racing up to be six as they move around the fire turn to set the trap Jake Lobel at the three quarters in 123 and two frugal gourmet is second rare review racing in third log is fourth up the rail in fifth they move over to the top of the lane is stage door Stevie Jake Lobel leads the way home frugal gourmet out of the pocket here he comes rare review is third Jake Lobel under urging frugal gourmet is powering up on the outside rare review is third Jake Lobel Well, Steve, it was a, it was a, almost in the Incredible. record books that, uh, that, but as I said, Frugal Gourmet is a trip horse, and he got the trip. He got the trip behind Jake Lobel tonight with the stage door Stevie trying to run him down. But look at that, the track record lowered by almost two full seconds. It's unbelievable that Jake can go there. It's unbelievable that another horse could be that close to him in such a fast mile. He did win it, he won it at least by a head, but he was all out that final 16th. Frugal Gourmet has given him all he wanted. I'll tell you what, Frugal Gourmet has shown people a lot of things in the last two weeks. You really had to look beyond him when you were looking at this race, but somehow, somehow, Trevor Ritchie got the trip that this horse wanted, got the trip that he wanted, and it was just an incredible race. What a finish. Well, uh, uh, Trevor Ritchie obviously has an affinity for the North American Cup, and uh, here, right here, I thought he might get by him. It was a tremendous mile and a tremendous effort. Look at Frugal Gourmet. They're coming down to the wire, but... Uh, We're going to have a, another look at that finish. Here, here it, is it is now. Okay, and Jade is under heavy urging here. From our camera position, we're past the wire a bit, but uh, Frugal Gourmet gives it all he has in the final few strides, and Jade was, he may not have won it by a head. It's very tight, but uh, I'm almost positive that he did, in fact, win it. Well, this is a look at our replay. We're going to have a look at the track replay, too, and perhaps the camera angle will be a little more definitive, but it looks on our cameras like Jate Lobel got it by just the smallest of margins. There you see it right there. Now, here's the track replay. Well, it, it looks even closer on the track replay, Steve. Jate Lobel, and you can see the two carts as the drivers uh, shift on the horses, how the carts surge forward and back. First of all, Frugal Gourmet's cart surges ahead here, and... Uh, and now Jake Lobel surges ahead. These horses are extremely competitive. And they're coming to the wire. This is very tight. I'll tell you what, if he's won by anything, it's just the length of the oh, nose in front of the shadow it's, roll. It's gonna take, it's gonna take a while uh, uh, for this photo because we had one here uh, last night, Steve, that looked that close and, and it looked like the outside horse won it. They, they haven't taken uh, Frugal Gourmet back to the paddock. That was just a quick shot of him. His groom's keeping him around. They are bringing Jade back to the winner's circle, but he got the scare of his life going for a million dollars tonight. I don't know. I know he has lost one race in his career. I don't know how many others he's won by that margin. I don't know how many have been that tough, but there you see it. It is now official. Jade Lobel has won the 1987 North America Cup by the smallest of margins over a rank outsider, a 30 to one shot. And uh, it's interesting to note that the horse that finished second got almost as much purse money this year, Steve, for finishing second, about the same amount as the horse who won the race last year.
What a tremendous finish, and it's only fitting that the first million-dollar event in the history of Canadian horse racing should end up like that. Undecided, they had to go to a photo, but in the final analysis, the horse that everybody predicted would win did win. Jade Lobel, his 22nd victory in 23 career starts. We'll be back with more from Greenwood Raceway in Toronto right after this.